Today we're going to tackle about the elements of painting. It has five parts. Color, lines, texture, space or mass, and perspective. Now let's see what it's all about. Color is an important element that can be used to create harmonies, contrast, unity, and variety in images. There are three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, and other varieties of colors that if mixed together can form other neutral colors. The color connotation for the color white is purity, innocence, and emptiness, while red is for love, anger, and excitement. Orange is associated with warmth and energy. Yellow symbolizes happiness, brightness, and towardliness. Green represents freshness, pleasant, and health. Color blue indicates clarity, peace, and reliability. And purple is for royalty, spirituality, and articulate. The most important thing about colors is that they affect each other greatly and they help convey emotions, create different moods, and enhance the overall visual appearance of the artwork. Lines are fundamental elements in art, shaping the very essence of visual storytelling. Lines can be straight, curved, or organic and can vary in thickness and volume. Lines provide structure, direction, and emotion. Straight lines offer stability, curves bring fluidity, and diagonals ignite dynamism. Lines or stroke can be used in hatching and cross-hatching to shade forms. Lines are an indispensable tool in artists' palette, allowing them to communicate, provoke emotion, and guide the viewer through their visual journey. There are overall five variation of lines. There's of course the line, size, shape, texture, and color. These all may vary depending on the subject. An example is if the subject is still, then it is static. If it is moving, then it is dynamic. The size and shape refers to the overall physical form or figure. The texture is the smoothness or roughness of a material, and the color refers to the appearance or hue of a subject. Texture is one of the elements of painting. It refers to how a surface looks and feels. Also, it is used to create the illusion of a painting details so that the observer may actually feel the texture of the artwork just by looking at it. In addition, texture has two types tactile texture and visual texture. With tactile texture, you can see the actual feel of a surface when you touch it. It can be rough, smooth, moth, sandy, sticky, bumpy, and wrinkled. While the visual texture is not the actual texture, it uses line, dots, pattern, shadow, and color to create the desired effect and make the painting look real. But when you touch the surface of canvas, it is still flat and smooth. Mass is one of the enemies painting. A mass refers to a shape or three-dimensional volume that has or gives the illusion of having weight, density, or bulk. It's a solid body or a grouping of visual elements, aligns, colors, texture, etc. that compose a solid form. Space. Space as a basic art element refers to the distance between the area around and within shape, forms, colors, and lines. In addition, there are two types of space positive and negative positive space is a term used to the refers the area of interest and focus in a phase of artwork negative space is a term used in art to describe that space surrounding a subject simply put perspective refers to how the viewer will perceive and place themselves within the artwork for the artist all the elements of art as well as the lighting of the artworks are taken into account to provide depth realism and focus this relates to the value and intensity of lighting, the convergence of lines, the gradient of color, the placement of mass and space, and the quality of texture, which can A, draw the viewer's attention to an element the artist wants to emphasize, and B, produce a sense of depth and realism in either the second or third dimension. That's everything. I hope you learned something. Here are the references used for this video. Once again, this is Group 7, and thank you for listening.